AMB Radeon RX 7900GRE is going global. Microsoft is working on their Direct SR Super Resolution. We might be seeing an all-digital Xbox Series X in white color. And lastly, AMB Ryzen 7 7800X3D went on sale again. Alright, so first we have the AMB Radeon RX 7900GRE, which is going global on February 27th at 549. That has been reported by video cards here, and they're saying that AMD Radeon RX 7900 GRE will be going global, meaning that it will be launching globally all around the globe, and it will be coming at only 549. So that is interesting. So before we look into the performance here, let's look into the specs of this. Basically, as you can see, the RX 7900 XT comes with 84 CUs, but the 7900 GRE is a bit cut down, not a huge cut down because you, you can already tell it's 80 CUs, meaning that it will have 5,120 stream processors compared to 5,376. Not a huge loss there, even in the boost club we're getting 0.2 gigahertz loss but still not a bad thing there and also in vram we also get to see 16 gigs of vram so that's pretty good you know because 20 gigs go going down to 16 that's not bad either we do get to see the memory bus going down to 256 so there's a bit loss here because you know it's getting much narrower so that's why we'll be seeing some performance deficit but then again it's a gre model which is a cut down model of the 7900 xt and as you can see the memory speed we're looking at 80 gbps and the bandwidth is 5 576 gigabytes per second and of course the total board power will also be lower as it's a cut down model which is 260 watts so it was already launched on july 28 on china in 2023 now we're looking at a release date of february 27 which is literally two days from now and it's gonna be released globally so i, I don't understand why this, it took that long for this particular card to launch but we'll see why so when we compare the geforce rtx 4070 versus the radeon rx 7900 gre this comparison has been done already but we get to see from video cards here again and as you can see on average on 1440p we're looking at only or i shouldn't say only because 14 percent is still a lot performance king because all the games that has been tested here are pretty much gpu demanding the call of duty modern warfare 3 the witcher 3 cyberpunk 2077 hitman 3 of course and then all the games you can see the colorist protocol starfield russian evil 4 red dead redemption 2 all these titles as you can see amd radeon rx 7900 gre is leading and on average it's 14 percent so if you compare the RTX 4070, which is at the same price at RX 7900 GRE 549, both of the cards, that would mean that it's a better deal to go with the AMD Radeon RX 7900 GRE as in terms of raw performance, we get to see more performance and of course more VRAM, 4 gigs of more VRAM. So that is a plus, even though the ray tracing performance, as we already know, RTX 4070 will be leading. That is a no brainer. But in general, this is a win for AMD here because the pricing looks amazing more vram more raw performance maybe not the best in terms of ray tracing but it, now at this time it stands in a very good position next up at gdc 2024 session we'll be seeing microsoft launching their new technology which is technically isn't new because it's uh, it says direct x super resolution or direct sr this is interesting to see because direct sr is basically combining the amd fsr dlss or even in intel xcss to make sure that all the games support a general upscaling method which is the direct sr basically combining them well as amd and intel quotes already that amd fsr or intel xcss isn't really confined between their own cards it is supported by basically all the cards that we can consider in the present time right or not really all the cards it's just that modern cards that support the shader levels well right over here we can see microsoft posted that the direct x team will showcase the latest updates demos and best practices for game development with key partners from amd and nvidia so they're partnering up with amd and nvidia here in this case workcrafts are the newest way to take full advantage of gpu hardware and parallelize workloads microsoft will provide a review into the direct sr making it easier than ever for game devs to scale super resolution support across windows devices finally dive into the latest tooling updates for pix so basically as you can tell this is a easier way to implement for the developers that direct super resolution is going to be the easier way to implement upscaling tech in any kind of games and the takeaway we can see is that direct as is leading the way in graphics innovation their new offerings will allow to build the fastest and most beautiful video games that work great on all microsoft platforms meaning that of course that they're combining all the tech which is the fsr amd fsr intel xcss or even nvidia's dlss we are not sure but they are bringing in some kind of tech that basically combines all of them and makes it easier for game developers 
of us implement the super resolution we also get to see an interesting screenshot which i don't think it is out yet in any windows update but as you can see right over here it says automatic super resolution use ai to make supported games play more smoothly with enhanced details so this particular update in windows hasn't been released yet so i believe this is a leak and well as you can see it has that toggle button which is you can turn it on and all the supported games will have automatic super resolution turned on basically you will be playing those games while this game is being upscaled so that is quite interesting that this is the way they're taking approach which is, makes it much much easier you don't have to look into the settings all the time when you turn on a game and you know just play it it will be by default on and your game will be upscaled i wonder if it will be good enough for 1080p upscaling because you know 1080p upscaling isn't that great so that really dif differs but it does make it much easier for people to upscale the games without worrying about which game supports what if it's going to be amd fsr or intel xcs or a nvidia dlss people don't need to worry about it next up from x computer we get to see an information an exclusive information which is the microsoft is bringing in their all digital white xbox series x and of course this is the series x not series s because series s is already white because now we are getting the xbox series x in white variant that would mean it's the refresh of the xbox series x and of course it also says that it's going to be all digital meaning that there will be no backwards compatibility because you know most of the titles that requires that are supported backwards compatibility requires a disc right and without the disc drive you can't really play the backwards compatibility game so that is like like a problem here that now this with this all digital model we might not be able to play the backwards compatible games unless there's a game pass for that so yes microsoft is currently working to release a white color xbox series x with no disc reader so the release that they're expecting is that upcoming months of june and july so not far from now it's going to be releasing soon enough between june and july kind of doesn't make sense but again they're going to be releasing it anyway and i wonder if it's going to be like a, a different spec we are not for sure so the pricing they are predicting is that it's going to be 5200 dollars lower meaning that the pricing will be around 350 to 400 dollars my guess would be it will be 400 but then again why are they decreasing the price maybe because of the disk drive getting removed but this drive shouldn't be costing that much in the first place so that's quite interesting that they're removing the disk drive also going down in pricing which is at around 400 dollars that would be more likely so 400 dollars for the xbox series x is a pretty good deal also it comes with a white color variant so interesting so there will be more changes to this particular model of course and it's still i i, I have my doubts that it's gonna be 400 dollars because they're changing the heat sink ma making it more improved as it says improved heat sink also an upgraded nexus card so that's quite interesting that they're making a white variant there are no pictures available right now but there are leaks circulating that might look like this but we're not for sure if it's going to be looking like this because it looks too beefy for a uh, xbox having no disk drive so that doesn't really make sense so they might be reducing the size even a little bit so we'll see about that and lastly amd ryzen 7 7800 x 3d has gone sale again for limited time only of course so as you can see right over here it says 369 previously 449 so already 449 is quite expensive so 369 does make it a lot appealing making it 17 person cheaper and of course you can save up to 80 dollars so that's pretty good not only that they are also offering 20 dollars promo code as you can see right over here meaning that you can make that 349 exactly 349 for ryzen 7 7800 x 3d is a pretty good deal not gonna lie because you, you can you cannot find this particular model for this particular price and almost 70 percent cheaper it's it's a pretty good deal i must say i've already made a video previous video about this particular model which including the 7900 x 3d and of course 70, 7950 x 3d well those sales are not available anymore but this particular model is still available in pricing and the pricing looks amazing so if you can grab one you should all right that is it for today what do you think about the xbox series x complete white edition without the disc drive of course do you think it's gonna be around 400 dollars because i feel like that's quite cheap compared to the 499 pricing so we're not gonna know until it really launches but we'll see about that not too long july or june we'll see about that mid june i believe that would be the case so we'll see about that and also what do you think about the direct x well direct sr this is gonna be combining or basically somewhat combining all the technologies which is the amd fsr xcss or even dlss we're not for sure how they're gonna do that but they are working on something which will make it easier for the consumers to have upscaling available with just one click in the windows settings so do tell me 